genre of books? Are we talking about are we talking about education or just reading in general? Uh, reading in general, yes. Uh, uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, most of the students in Sri Lanka uh, don't read much. <laughs> So uh, I would like you to uh, motivate these guys uh, uh, with regard to uh, uh, reading uh, and improving their uh, style to reading. Who's, who's, not, who's not reading? Come on. Reading is the best thing in the world. You guys are killing me. Yeah. So reading is very important especially when you're younger your brains at your age are still developing they're still growing your synapses are connecting that means you are a sponge what you read now you're going to remember for a very long time the knowledge that you read it's going to stay with you that's why learning english reading english books at your age, you, you're going to know a lot more than my age and me reading the Vietnamese book. My brain has already grown. I'm 25 now. So the snaps, synapses have connected. I am not a sponge anymore, but you guys are. When I was your age, I was about 12 and 13, reading was all I did. Loved books very much, and I was a big fan of reading. I was terrible at math. I was not very good at science, but I had a passion for reading to the point where I was 14 and my reading level was at college level because I tried my hardest. I read a book, I found something harder. When I read that book, I found something even harder. Uh, okay, sir. Uh, shall we ask somebody to join you and uh, talk about uh, the things they read? Uh, uh, guys, who likes to come first? Uh, is there anyone who likes to talk with uh, Mr. John Mullins? Or shall I name the people? Uh, Ashwini, you go ahead first. Ashwini, can you switch on your camera? Sir? Okay, thank you. Hello, Ash. Hello, sir. Hello. I read uh, much books, uh, many books, uh, like uh, Sherlock Holmes, uh, Famous Five. I most like that, but I read science books and any kind of book I read, uh, I get, I had. That's fantastic. So Sherlock Holmes is a fantastic read. Uh, I actually have his collection. So I've read Sherlock Holmes as well. Uh, I, and I love, I do like science books. Yeah. So I love science articles as well. Science magazines, I'm a big fan of. I have a lot of them on my computer. Um, so that's fantastic. So when you read Sherlock Holmes and science books, when you find a word you do not know, what do you do? Sorry? If you're reading a book and you see a word you do not know, what do you do? I search from uh, Google and find Fantastic. it. Fantastic. So that is a great use of technology, right? We have our phones, we have our computers. Another great way, this is old school, but we do annotations. So if you saw my books as a child, as a kid, and I don't have my books on me today, I don't think I have one in my book bag. I think they're all, they're all next to my bed. If I open a book, you're gonna see writing on the side, you're going to see words that are underlined. So a great way to enhance your reading is if you find a word you don't know, if it's your book, not a library book, if it's your book, library book, um, underline it, look it up, and then on the side, write the definition or write your ideas, okay? 
Okay. Thank you, sir, for information. Yeah. Every time you go back, you're going to see your notes. You're like, oh, okay. Or even if you read a section and you're like, okay, let me summary, a small summary of what happened. And it's, it's very good. It's going to help you enhance your reading. Ashwin, if you Thank have you any so questions, much. you can ask anything. Okay. Ashwin, if you have anything, you can ask him. Uh, you have so many questions. So she has lots of questions. Uh, I like to know about reading uh, benefits, uh, about uh, sci scientific benefits. Sci so the scientific benefits, there actually are a lot. Um, one of them is improved memory and improved uh, what we call cognitive cognitive thinking. Um, so when you're reading, you're also storing that information. You're storing that information in your brain. It's proven that if you read more, if you practice with harder material, your brain actually, it opens up and you, it actually works faster. You actually enhance your brain by reading. It's not like with TV. When you watch TV, your brain's really not working. You're just, your eyes are perceiving a light on the TV. It's going into your eyes and it's processing in your brain just a little bit. When you're reading, you're using different parts of your brain to process that information. And when you do that, you actually will be able to have stronger memory, have a larger vocabulary, and have better, and this is weird, but better conversational skills. I also a huge fan of Harry Potter books. Yeah. I like them so much. My brother is a nerd for Harry Potter books. I tell you what, he went to Disney World just for Harry Potter. He bought the wand and the, the robe and, and he's like a big muscle guy walking around with a wand, so happy. It's uh, perfect then that Harry Potter films books are perfect. Yeah, I love, I read the books before I watch a movie because um, I like old books, I like classic books. So I always read the book before the movie because the movie can never tell the full experience. And uh, also uh, the vocabulary in Harry Potter is just so fantastic. Uh, and the, the writing, they made it just very fantastic for me, I think. Right, do you have yeah, any other questions? I'd love to answer. And Harry Potter is awesome. I'm a Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings fan. <laughs> So, and I have I have a lot of books on my computer. I'll, I'm going to share with you guys on the WhatsApp group. Um, I'll try to find. I think I can find the Harry Potter books. I believe I can, um, and I can find some science stuff as well. I, I do have science articles that I read myself um, that I can send to everyone. Uh, I think yeah, I believe I can. They're PFD format. And I like the Nightingale that uh, write by Oscar Wilde. It's perfect one. It's uh, it says about the studies most important thing uh, your life. Yes, Oscar Wilde. He was a very interesting man. Um, I actually read about him when I was in school. We had to study Oscar Wilde. Wilde. Um, I, I studied a lot of famous writers. A lot of them are my favorite. Uh, Ernest Hemingway, my favorite writers. Um, and he's an American writer. And uh, he, he was a very, very interesting man. And his life, his life was writing. If you think a man that loves books, he, he was in World War II. And he would, he would sit with the soldiers and write why there was there's fighting. He loved writing. Uh, that was his passion. Uh, and Nightingale is a fantastic book. Uh, if you like that style, I would suggest, um, I actually have the book for ESL readers. Uh, Edgar Allan Poe 
fantastic writer. And that will definitely enhance your reading, your visual perception when you read, and also your vocabulary to a very high amount. So I'll definitely send that book to you as well. I grew up with him. He's from my hometown, actually. He's very famous. Fantastic. Anything else you would like to discuss, talk about? Any topics? Did you uh, read a uh, wave that uh, wrote by Sri Lankan writer about tsunami? I did not. I know. I know there are some writers because I've looked them up. Um, I've I read a book about Sri Lanka. This was a while back for me because um, right now I read a lot of online stuff, um, and I'm trying to remember the full story. But it was about. Uh, there was a plane crash in Sri Lanka during, um, I want to say World War II, because they used aerogliders back then. But yeah, there's a plane crash and they, they crashed really high up in the mountains. And they discovered uh, a, a group of people living there. And they were the first contact for them being Americans. And it's a, talking about there is a huge language barrier and uh, there weren't really soldiers these were like journalists and writers on this plane and they they worked together to make contact and to express each other without any words so i thought that was fascinating uh, i think i uh, don't hear about it this one's an older book. I have to. I have to find it again. I'll look it up for you. Because okay, well, it might be you. in my library at home. I have to check. Actually, uh, yeah. Uh, and you can send me. You can send me the Sri Lanka books you like, you. and I'll read them. Okay. Yeah, okay, Shendra Manukal. Uh, Fantastic. Does anyone out? Okay. Shendra Manukal, uh, are you there? I think he, uh, he has disconnected himself. No? Um, there's another book nerd, uh, but uh, he's uh, not there at the moment. Um, so we'll go for Eranda uh, Madhuanta, you uh, switch on. Eranda, you there? Hey. Where are you? Hello, Captain. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm well. Yeah, it's it's nighttime over here. Relaxing. I'm gonna like, cook up some some dinner later. I'm excited. So what what would you like to talk about, sir? T tell me about. Another tell him about your problem that you don't have any interest in reading and. <laughs> yes, uh, actually, I not actually much interested in reading, uh, but I read. Uh, recently, I read a, a book uh, from uh, Sherlock Holmes. Uh, it's a very interesting uh, book. Uh, so now I'm interested in reading books. Uh, uh, the, my first book of Sherlock Holmes. Uh, I would like to read books. So I don't think that you're not interested in reading. I think you have not finished like yet. And that's that's important. You know, there are books that I don't like to read. Um, I myself would not choose to read them. But there are other books that if I read it, I can't stop. I, I won't do anything but read it until I finish it because I like it so much. So a great way is think about things that you like, things that you find interesting, and then search for books with that same genre or that same idea. Just like TV shows, right? So we like certain TV shows. There are books out there that are a hundred times better than that TV show. I promise you that. So what, what kind of TV shows do you like or movies? 
Uh, I like to watch uh, Nickelodeon uh, TV show uh, Danger Force, uh, Handy Danger, and Thunder. These are my favorite. Okay. Are my favorite. So these are these are kind of like action, more like uh, action. Uh, yes, like action, but uh, not oh. much. Uh, it's for kids. Okay, so that that's a great way to start. So there are fantastic action and drama writers out there even now they're coming out with new books that are pretty awesome um i went i love zombies i'm like a huge zombie movie guy uh and that's my weird thing like i've watched them all uh and my obsession i love classical books but my obsession is zombie books um and that's my niche. That's my niche right there. I love zombie books. There's so many writers that write them. So find that that Henry Danger. Find that style. You can always find it in books as well. And I think if, if you found that, you'd definitely be super interested in reading it. Okay. So I, I, I watch The Walking Dead, all that stuff. If I get a hold of a good zombie book, oh my gosh, 100 times better. I have a question for you. Uh, can I ask? Mm -hmm. uh, how many books are there in Telecom? How many? Books? I, I'm, one more time. Uh, how many uh, books in Telecom's collection? How many books do I have? Do I collect? No, no, he's asking no, about a general knowledge type of a question. How many books are there in the series of Telecom? I don't know. Uh, I apologize. You I maybe misunderstood the question. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. I'm familiar with the book. So I read a lot of, uh, I read a lot of, of my horror story books. And then I also hold a collection of antique books in my hometown. And so the antique books usually are what I read. And I usually, I have them on P PDF file as well. Um, so for like collections and stuff, I really am only familiar with uh, some, a lot older collections like philosophy and some of the older, old English books. And uh, I, I do have some of Aristotle's teachings as well as, uh, and I'm trying to think of his name now, uh, like Grimm's Fairy Tale. I have the original Grimm's Fairy Tales. I also have uh, short, uh, we call it parables, uh, or short teachings, um, and I like to read them as well. Oh, is that it, Teranga? I don't do I have any questions. Read, it's good for you. So this is my my course of uh, okay. So thank you for the information. But I have and another thing, I, and I remember that uh, uh, Mr. Mullins uh, was saying that uh, he could give some help for you in stop animation. Uh, I remember that he has sent some kind of a message there for the group uh, with regard to uh, that you have a friend or someone that could help you with uh, making those uh, videos. Uh, Mr. Munis, do you remember anything? Uh, yes, I do. I remember. Uh, thank you for reminding me because I've been telling myself I need to contact you, buddy. And I apologize. I've been I've been a little busy and my mind is bleh. Um, yeah, so my neighbor, uh, my neighbor actually does claymation. That's his job. And his girlfriend does claymation as well. And I talked to him about a week ago. And I asked him if I could connect you to him and so that he can help you out. He can, and you can ask him questions about like equipment, anything you want. Um, he really does a great job. I have his YouTube channel and it's, it's very good work. I've seen his office. It's very cool. I think you would like it. Um, yeah. So with, uh, with your permission, buddy, I, I would love to get, get you guys together so that you can talk with him and ask him questions and you can see his work and he can see your work. 
Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, buddy. We're catch up with me on WhatsApp, okay? And okay, I'm sir. waiting for him. He's he was in. He had to live in his office because of COVID nineteen. I'm wait a few days. He'll be back as my neighbor, and I'm gonna get together with him uh, about talking with you and uh, maybe setting up some advice and stuff. Okay. Thank you very much. Sir. Yeah, fantastic. Good work, man. Good work. Okay, sir. Bye. Good night. I'll see you later, Cap. Okay, sir. Okay, uh, another guy. Mm. Uh, Netmi Purnima, are you there? Netmi Purnima. Most of the time in this picture, uh, because this is the night time, uh, most of the places in Sri Lanka don't have enough uh, uh, signal coverage. Uh, whenever you switch on the micro camera, uh, you automatically disappear or disconnect. Uh, there's an issue with that. Eranga Prabhati, can you uh, switch on? Okay. Yes. Okay, I have added you to the spotlight. Hi, buddy. I remember you. How are you? I'm fine, sir. How are you, sir? I'm well. I, I'm having class with you guys and enjoying it. I got the fan going, so I feel cool. Awesome. So you, do you have any questions, any topics you would like to talk about? I have a question. Um, Sir, so, uh, they have the problem with uh, reading. Uh, what can we, uh, how can we start reading uh, with a, a small time or long time? Uh, so that's a great question. So everyone has problems with reading, I believe. Uh, I had problems with reading at your age. At your age, uh, and I was a little younger, I think, um, I, I had trouble reading. I got my words mixed up and I had trouble with my pronunciation. And to fix that, I practiced. Uh, as they say, practice makes perfect. Um, and that, that is very true. A great way to do that is you can do online where they have audio, they have free audio books on YouTube and many websites where you can listen while speaking out as well. So that's gonna help with your pronunciation. Another great way is when you're reading, even if it's 10 minutes a day, you can always, if you're stuck on something, if you're confused about it, underline it, make sure you know where it is. And later you can come back to it. If you can't figure it out, you can, you can look it up. There's great, great resources online for comprehending and understanding the book and it's going to help you to gain that ability so you get from this level all the way up to a much higher level okay sir i have another question sir um then uh, now as of today uh, uh, people live in a busy world uh, you also live in with uh, busy works and um, how can we manage the time to uh, do uh, books? Uh, do you think uh, reading books on at night uh, good or uh, in the morning time? So normally for me, I have very bad sleep issues. So because I work so much, I sometimes I can't sleep. So for me, reading at night is my biggest thing. I like to read about thirty minutes. 30 to 45 minutes every night. I lay in bed, I get comfy, I turn my little light on and I pick out my book. Um, that's something that is a ritual for me. Also for me in my mornings, right when I wake up, I, my habit is a glass of ice water. So I, I have a big glass of ice water. As soon as I wake up, that's what I drink. And then I go back to reading. For me, I read the news. So I have news articles I read every morning. I read about six or seven in the morning. And that's a habit of mine. For you, a good habit would be maybe you read a chapter before you go to bed. 
And when you wake up, you read the next chapter while you're eating or even, even while you're brushing your teeth. I'm weird. Sometimes I'll brush my teeth and be reading at the same time. And my neighbors are like, what are you doing? I'm like, two things at once. So yeah, that's, that, that's really good. I know that sometimes we are very busy. I'm the same way. Sometimes I forget to get my daily reading in. Um, but if it's important, it's great to put in 10 to 30 minutes a day of reading. Um, and it could be something funny. It could be something scary. It could be something educational. It's, but when you're reading, before I said, it's really gonna help many different parts. It's gonna help with your memory. It's gonna help with your knowledge. Again, it's gonna help with your conversational English because really you're reading a conversation, right? A lot of the times in reading, it's a conversation happening between our characters, our protagonists, our antagonists, and that helps us learn how they talk, right? How they think. And in turn, it lets us think like them. There's many, okay, many so, books where uh, I do. You yeah. A lot of people have a problem about the um, uh, books, uh, what they uh, should read. Uh, at the, at uh, my age, people also uh, have that problem. What type of book uh, that we choose to uh, read in this age? Uh, do you think uh, what type of books that we should read this uh, age? Um, so how, how old are you again, kiddo? I, I want to say last time you told me, I think 12, uh, right? I'm 15. 15, 15. Okay. Well, 15 is a good age, I think then. Um, uh, I'm pretty liberal with books. I think at 15, there are, there's a wide range of books you can read. Again, that's still up to your parents. So, you know, if, if you choose a book, your parents may not like you have to respect your parents' decision. Um, there's a great site. It, it is called, I'm gonna to try to type it here. Um, it's like 100 books everyone should read. I, I believe it's called that. Um, this is a challenge they have. It's like a free challenge, but all of these like universities and writers, they came together and they picked out a hundred classic books that everyone should read in their life. That's a great place to start. Um, the levels, they go up and down. There's lower level reading, there's higher level reading. Um, you know, what kind of books are you interested in? Um, I, uh, I am interested uh, about the books uh, that are written with uh, like detective stories, science, uh, scientific books. Also, um, um, I like novels as well. Okay. So there, there are wonderful, like um, I'm, I want to think of this name, man's name. It's like Nicholas, Nicholas Sparks. And I want to type it at Nick, I can't remember the name. I'm, I want to get the correct name for you. I'm going to send it. Give me one second. Uh, Nicholas Sparks. Nicholas is spelled like three different ways. Nicholas. Yeah. Nicholas Sparks. So this writer. Oh, I see. I did spell it wrong. There's an H. So let me get this correct. for you. N-I-C-H-O-L-A-S. Nicholas Sparks. This writer uh he writes detective mystery and sometimes romantic um like the, the detective falls in love with someone or um all kinds of, yeah, he has a lot of books uh the movie safe haven there's a movie is actually from one of his books um there's a lot so he's a great mystery writer i enjoyed his books as well um, like sci-fi, like sci-fi books, science books. Science books. 
for uh, like like educational sense? Mm, yes. Uh. Fantastic. For like that kind of reading, there's like a great, there's like science today, science times, and um, I'm trying to think of the other one, world science. Um, those are fantastic for quick reads. You have an article, science article about something new, you can learn about 30, 40 minute read. Yeah, myself, um, I don't know if I can, it will pop up on my phone, but you can see I have a lot of science articles that I read. Um, let's see if I have it. No, I don't want to do that. I don't know now, but it's something I do on a daily basis. If I want to learn something scientific, yeah, I always turn if it, for a quick read. I know we're busy for a quick read. Great, great science articles are coming out now. Hmm? Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much for uh, speaking with me. No, I'm so happy. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I also have a small uh, signal connection issue, but anyway. Uh, uh, Pramod Anuas, are you there? Pramod Anuas? Yes. Okay, sir. Hey, my man. Hey, sir. How are you? Uh, I'm fine, sir. Who are you? I'm well. I'm very well. I'm enjoying the, the fan and the cool air and talking online. Like, tell me about you. Yeah. I'd like to ask some questions from you. Uh, sure. Can you answer for them? Yes, please. Uh, I like most of uh, uh, actually, I like uh, uh, detective books. Uh, they are uh, uh, every time I read them, mm, but my mother was angry. Uh, uh, some days uh, uh, I read them in uh, uh, when I go to the garden, mm -hmm. and also I read it. Uh, I read them uh, when I go to bed. So, what do you think? Uh, which time am I good uh, to uh, read them? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, when I stay garden or uh, I go to bed. I think that sometimes we there's times we have to do work. We have to help out. It was the same for my family. Um, you know, there's uh, what my mother says. There's a time and place for everything. Uh, I think that if you're working in the garden, doing something, that's great. And if you have a five minute break, a 10 minute break, yeah, crack open that book and have a read. Uh, you know, if your mom's like, hey, you gotta do something. Honestly, if you, if you go and do it first, it's much faster than saying, mom, I wanna read. If you just go and do it, it's more time for you to read in the future. Um, I, I did that with my mom as well. Uh, if I wanted to read, if I wanted to do something, and she was like, hey, you gotta go out in the garden pull the weeds. Hey, you got to mow the lawn or you got to clean, clean the water out of the pond. Uh, I don't want to do that, mom. I want to read. I want to do this. If I took that energy and just went and did it, I'd be done and I'll be back to reading my books. Uh, yeah, I think. And of course, when you like, when you wake up, if you're eating breakfast, that's a great time to read. You know, you have your tea, you have your water, you, you have your breakfast, crack open a book, Take your time, enjoy your breakfast, and those are also great times. Um, yeah. Actually, I like to read director's book. Uh, listen to that. There, I have uh, big knowledge uh, for us. Uh, and I like to uh, uh, also, I like to read a science book, uh, uh, but I don't like to uh, be a doctor. 
uh, I like to be a, a software engineer. So, yes. uh, sir, can you say uh, uh, what what types of books uh, uh, when I need to uh, be a software engineer uh, read? So give me one second and I can actually answer that question for you. Um, there are like a lot of, I know there are a, a lot of books written about this, but we have to find the one that is the best level for you. Um, yes. And I'm hoping my internet's a little faster now. Books on software. I picked out one the other day because I know you asked me about software before. Um, there are a few, and they're what we call beginner guides for software engineering. That's, I think, the best place to start out. That's where I would start out. Uh, we call them beginning guides. Um, I thought I saw one, and I, I thought I saved it, and I guess I didn't. But um, I'll find it for you because I saw it the other day and I was like, wow, this is, this is the one. Someone shared it on Facebook. Um, but yeah, I'll find it for you. There are a lot out there, but you have to pick one that's on your level first because some of them are, are for people like writing college theses on software engineering. So that's like very, very high knowledge that even I don't know about. Um, I would have no idea about that. <laughs> but yeah, I have a friend who is a software engineer, agricultural software engineer, and I will actually ask him some advice about that as well. Um, he works out in the countryside in Vietnam, helping with software and farm equipment and how to improve and also bring in technology and inventions to improve agricultural agriculture in Vietnam. So I'll de definitely ask him about that as well. Any any advice he has about books? So I actually have a class with him tomorrow, so I can ask him tomorrow. Okay. Awesome. Do you have any any other questions, my friend? Uh, I think uh, uh, I have big books, uh, and I like. Uh, read them uh, when I have a uh, leisure uh, time. Uh, and also, uh, I'm uh, secret secretary of uh, uh, school uh, uh, library. Uh, so I can uh, bring a lot of books and read them. Uh, most of the time, uh, I read uh, Sherlock Holmes books. They are very popular books. Uh, uh, so uh, would uh, do you, do you have how much books of uh, Sherlock Holmes? Uh, how how many books do I have, or what was what was the question? How many books? How, how many books how, have I read? Yes. I have no idea. I I never counted to be honest. Um, I because I, I I read when I was younger. My mother, uh, she really really was about reading when I was a kid. So like we did not have TV time when I was younger. It was reading time, um, and every night my mother had us read. Um, and uh, on our Sunday we had no electronics. Could not use a phone. I could not use a TV. Could not use a computer. I had to read for an hour and a half that whole that whole time. Um, yes, yeah, so my my mother was big on me reading. Um, so yeah, I read I read a lot. I reread books a lot. So if I read a book and I haven't read it in a few years, I like to read it again, and it helps me refresh my knowledge. But I have a library at my house, my my personal library. I'm still working through all those books. Um, yeah, I have a lot of books I'm still working on. So I'm not a uh, hundred percent at all. <laughs> There's a lot lot more books. Uh, so I uh, watch video from Yuri. Uh, there were uh, when we read uh, books, uh, our knowledge uh, were uh, high. Uh, also, uh, we uh, watch TV and uh, other other phones uh, uh, that type 
of things our brain uh, brain uh, knowledge uh, reduce is it uh, real sir yeah I, I think it is real and there is benefits i know people who watched tv shows and it helped with their speaking or spoken english um with reading you're going to have a, a lot better um it's gonna it will be a lot better because you're practicing a few things at once you're practicing reading comprehension so understanding the story the characters and what's going on that's important for life secondly you are going to practice your grammar a lot more once you start reading and you understand grammar concepts, I promise you, just like me, if I'm reading and there's a mistake, I can automatically point it out. And that helps me because then I, when I'm writing, it helps me remember that mistake, uh, even speaking as well. And again, as I said before, it's going to help with memory and conversational skills. Um, you're going you're gonna to see characters talking to each other. You're going to see how they interact visually in your head you're going to have the story going through your head right so that's going to give you an advantage that sometimes tv can't the only advantage tv gives you is someone speaking so that's helped your pronunciation my suggestion would be audiobooks if i can't read at night i listen to an audiobook if i if i'm too tired you know and i had a long day I'll, I'll put an audio book on and I'll listen to that. And that's a great way to help your pronunciation side. Sir, can you explain to them what you can audio? Uh, be... Of course, man. I was always here, happy to help. Thank you so much for your questions. Those are fantastic. Thank you. Um, okay, uh, Usel, are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, so I can't see your camera. No, can't hear. You can't. See, uh, okay. Okay. Hey, my yeah. man. Hi. How are you? Hello. So, are you? I'm well, and I'm enjoying my evening. It's, it's a little cooler here. I'm happy. Uh, it's so hot. Uh, I am Usel. Uh, I am years old, uh, and I have a question. Ask you. Can I ask you this question? Ask. Ask away, uh, please. Uh, you see, uh, it's a uh, about your town. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, is it is now in your town? In my hometown, not yet. Uh, in my hometown, it is August, so it is fall. So right now, it's probably rainy, and all the leaves are starting to turn uh, orange and yellow and brown. Um, we will not have snow until November and December. Um, but it does, it does snow in my hometown, yeah. I, I enjoy the snow very much. I love I love Vietnam. I love Sri Lanka. I love Laos and Myanmar. But uh, I do miss my snow. Yeah, I, I miss laying in it and, and playing in it, making snowmen. Yeah, okay. uh, yeah, I saw you. Uh, I saw you in your profile picture, uh, and there are there are white sand in your profile picture. Uh, so what is that space? Yeah, I'm sorry, because on my end, I can't hear that well. Could you could you ask one more time for me? Uh, your profile picture in place? What is that place? Yes, yeah, so I teach English as a second language. I teach it to uh, young children and adults. For adults, I teach communication English. So communicative English is speaking, listening. Um, and uh, for young kid children, I teach speaking, cognitive ability. So I teach them their brains are developing. They're going through five stages 
of child, I mean, uh, seven stages of child development. So uh, I'm, I'm teaching them that as well, helping them as much as I can. So uh, also, uh, I'll show you real quick, my man. This is my hometown when it snows. That's, thank you very much. My aunt, she took the picture for me. She knows I love snow. So this is next to her house. Um, so that's, that is what my hometown looks like. It's a snowy day. Pretty. Uh, uh, sir, are you uh, teaching in primary? I actually teach kindergarten uh, offline. Uh, online, I teach primary. I do high school YouTube, uh, sorry, high school YouTube and Facebook channel. And for adults, I teach a university class on communicative IELTS. And then I also privately teach adults with communicative business English. My mother, my mother is teaching primary too. Right on. The primary is a great age to teach, I think. Um, uh, and my father is agriculture, but agriculture officer, but I don't know. That's, that's, that's all, yeah. Agriculture, agriculture is really big in my hometown. So my high school actually has an agricultural, what we call a pathway. So you can take agricultural classes in my high school and you can graduate as an agricultural studier. And then you can either go into agricultural work or you can go to college to continue that education. So my, my, my high school actually has a farm with live animals and they teach you how to take care of them. They teach you about farming. It's pretty cool. So do you know me? Do I know you? I do know you, yes. Yeah, you're on our Facebook, you're on our WhatsApp group. I, I send message with you. Yes, I do. I, I have your message and I have about three other messages I need to fully respond to. So I apologize about that. That is my fault. Um, I, need to, I need to get busy with responding because uh, I have a WhatsApp, Zalo, Facebook, and email. I have to respond every day. Um, but I do, I do I actually do have your message saved um, on, on my phone. And speaking of... Uh, yeah, yeah. Speaking of that, any please, if, if I don't respond, just send me another message. And uh, uh, once I get it, I will respond. Uh, once I, I have the time to, I promise you that. So. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Yes. Someone said excuse me. Sir? Yeah. I need to read psychology books. Uh, what do you uh, recommend to me? I like lots. I like to read. Psychology books. Psychology books. Uh, I'm trying to think because my aunt actually she she got her degree in psychology. Um, so for your age, um, I'm not going to give you anything heavy. Um, I would start with basic psychology. Like you can look up Psychology 101. Uh, those are fantastic books to get started with. They're not too heavy. Um, I know there's one guy, um, oh, it's fine for the mind, and the other one was called, yeah, it's called Psych, Psych 101, so I'm going to type that out for you. Psych. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Psych. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, not LOL 101. Yeah, Psych 101, uh, Beginners and Statistics. Uh, that's a great one to get started with. Okay, so thank you. No problem. Thank you for asking. So, my man, what what else were you talking? I'm sorry, I did not mean to interrupt you. I apologize. Uh, 
So, uh, I think uh, when I read, I addicted to it. If I, if it, if it good or bad, I can't uh, uh, wait for uh, wait for the book. Uh, yes. Uh, Always start small. Um, if if the book looks like a challenge, there are great little articles and like pamphlets like little pocket reads i have a habit uh, i can't i can't sleep without uh, reading ah. a book i already read it that's a fantastic habit so for me reading helps me sleep as well um it helps me turn my brain off and i can just focus on the story and that helps me sleep a lot better um i think psychology would be a good read to help you sleep psychology or history. I read a lot of history when I sleep. Um, there's a few history, but I have to remember the names. I'm very picky with history books. Okay, thank you, sir. That, that's me. No problem, thank you. Okay, sir, go on. Uh, you are pretty in your profile picture. I'm sorry? You are pretty in your profile picture. You called him handsome, uh, sir. Oh, hand? No, I'm not handsome. I am super thin. I'm like a thin, scrawny teacher. But thank you, it's very kind. But I am just so so. Um, yeah, I, I had to get rid of the beard. It was so hot, and I had a big, big beard going. And my my friends made fun of me. They're like, "You look like an old man." I was like, "You're right. I must shave." But thank you, man. That was very kind of you. You, you. I like I like the hairstyle. You get you have a better hairstyle than me. I had a short hair. I don't like it. I want the I want the medium hair like you. I'm I'm growing it out now. I'm growing it out now. Uh, right I on, added to, so do you, do you have yeah I added to uh, our you uh, you have a astronomy group do, do, did you see it I uh, I think you sent me the, the astronomy group correct uh, I added to yeah I think me? I accepted it I believe I believe I accepted it I can check because I get I someone asked me about black Black hole and on the article yet. Um, wait, hold on, let me check. I think I have, I think I have a signal. Yeah, I haven't been able to post a lot lately. Um, because I'm trying. Right. There's uh, for my other work, I have to make some videos every day. Um, but I'm gonna try. I do have some astronomy books. I have astronomy books and magazines I can post about black holes and about uh, <laughs> someone's put English, bro. Yeah, guys, English group, come on. All right. Yeah, so I, I will get back on that more. Um, I had to dig through my computer to find the books I have on that. But you guys put some on here. I, I'll send some YouTube as well. There's some interesting stories about particle accelerators. There's a man, he stuck his head in a particle accelerator. A particle accelerator went through his head and he survived because it's so small. It literally traversed the, the molecular structure of him. It went through and he had a headache. He said, oh, my head hurt a little bit. And then he went home to his wife. Talk about being strong, right? So very, very interesting stuff. Yeah, so I'll share, I, I have a few videos about that um, and some great science. There's some actual fantastic new research about uh, particle accelerators, uh, certain things about like new energy. There's a lot of talk about like new ways to make energy, especially on the moon somewhat on the moon they want to try it's kind of hard right now with our technology um hopefully in the future 
Japan, I believe it was Japan, talked about sending rockets onto asteroids to mine uh, the, the ore on the asteroids to provide, uh, to make that be energy, energy sufficient. So that, that's a pretty interesting read as well. But that seems very hard. One of, one of the largest asteroids from uh, uh, out of our galaxy passed us about three months ago. Um, and there's a weird shape, you're like round and like flat, like a hot dog kind of. Um, and it passed very close to us. And I think in the next 2053, 20, 20, 20, 2039 or 2053, I think, I can't remember, it's going to pass even closer and scientists are going to try to get readings of it because it's one of the first objects that it does not So to think about it, billions and billions and billions, billions and billions far away, this little tiny planet broke apart and this giant chunk of that planet before we were born, before our grandparents were born, was on. Thanks for doing it. No problem. I'm, I'm happy to talk to you again, man. And please, if I don't answer, please send me a message again. And I'm, I, I broke promise to try to get back to you as soon as possible, okay? okay. Bye and good night. See you later, my man. Okay, sir. I think uh, uh, we have come to the end of uh, our session as we have reached one hour. Uh, and uh, I take this opportunity to thank you. It's a wonderful opportunity for these guys to talk to you and I get lots of knowledge from you. And, and uh, basically, uh, uh, they would uh, uh, like they would contact you uh, in future. Most of them, like, uh, uh, my, most of my students are like science enthusiasts, so they would like to uh, like uh, speak to you in future uh, with regard to science stuff and uh, and then some books as well. Uh, so uh, we can have another session in future as well, no? Yeah, definitely, hundred percent. So we are gonna for everyone in this class, we are gonna schedule every Sunday a class for every Sunday. I just need to work out the time. I'm trying to make it earlier for you guys. Um, today, we had a schedule mix up on my side about time, but uh, I'm trying to fix it. So I have an earlier class with you guys, but yeah, we're looking at every Sunday. Every Sunday, we'll have a, a class together. Um, so please send me topics you're interested in uh, on WhatsApp and on here as well. Uh, that'd be fantastic. I'm gonna try my best to send out what I know and if I don't know it, I will find it out for you and I will find it, read it and send it to you. Okay, no problem. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for uh, uh, giving this time for these kids. Uh, they would really treasure it uh, for, their, for, their, for their lives, uh, for the rest of their lives. Uh, thanks a lot, sir. Yeah, thank you guys so much. Everyone, you guys are fantastic. Thank you for your questions. Thank you for your patience. And uh, guys, remember, reading is, is a fantastic tool in life, and it's a fantastic thing. We're, we're always learning. When I'm 30, when I'm 40, when I'm 50, I'm still going to learn new things, especially from reading. So thank you guys so much. Please have a fantastic evening, and I will see you guys Sunday and on WhatsApp. All right. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye bye. 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 Uh, and uh, try to talk a lot from your side as well. Ugolo ke pethino katakaran uttakaran ugolo yaagi pasna hari ata katakaran roda. You also try to speak with him a lot uh, so that uh, you can have a conversation rather than uh, listening to a lecture or something. Uh, 
කතාබහකේ දෙන්න පුළුවන් තරම් එයාගේ ප්‍රශ්නයක් අහලා ගොඩාක් එයාට උත්තර දෙන්න දෙනවට වඩා expressive our feeling so that uh, you will improve your speaking skills as well and try to get a lot of knowledge from these people ඒක ළඟින් දැනුම ගන්න උත්සාහ කරන although they are young they have learned and read a lot of things ඉන්න ඉන්න තියෙන හුඟක් දේවල් ඉතින් ඔයගලට ඒවත් use කරන්න පුළුවන් in future okay guys uh, uh, good night everyone we'll uh, i'll i'll tell you the next topic i have decided uh, about it man thama thirane kalane i'm most probably uh, it will be an interesting one uh, you guys uh, join again uh, next week at around uh, uh, 7 7:30 we will have the session for 2 hours next week onwards laban sati na hamada mir data paya deka me esa ekak katha karan man gai sikal la tiyana anith lamai ekak api join ene kiyu and we last other guys to uh, join and at least listen to the speaking Uh, those who join today for the speeches, Kata uh, Karan joined it. Did did reasonably okay. Okay. Uh, good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.